Вот. Customs officers aboard Searcher are patrolling the deserted waters of the Atlantic in winter. These custom ships are the front line against international drug smugglers. Well, we're currently uh, about six and a half miles southwest of Lizard Point in Cornwall. Let me just slow down a tad, uh, put, bring them back to about four. And we've sighted a sloop sailing yacht, which is uh, heading in an easterly direction. We're within territorial limits, so we're going to send our rib boarding team over there to, to uh, have a word with them and to uh, see where they've come from. In summer, the rib team board dozens of yachts a day, hunting for smugglers hiding amongst the traffic. But winter also produces drug seizures from criminals on do-or-die missions across the Atlantic. We haven't seen any other yachts recently, so it's, it's always worth checking as to why he's out here and no one else is at the moment. The only way to find out is to go on board. Protecting Britain's borders is a 24-hour-a-day job. And in the Dover freight lanes, officers have to make instant assessments about which trucks to stop and which to let go. And the danger is, of course, you say, no, this one's free to go, but you're thinking last night or two shifts ago, you know, I'll maybe let something through. It's a bit of a game, you know. On his 12-hour night shift, Alex has stopped a truck carrying salad, which unusually doesn't have a date stamp. It's small mistakes like this which can catch out smugglers. It's hard to see, though, from the paperwork, right? This paperwork is pretty tough here. The state of the trailer makes Alex suspect it may have something to hide. Yeah, OK. It's a bit well, not a very good one, but... We'll go drill it. I'll open the base first. Right. OK, Chef, we'll we go to Rampa. Rampa. Yeah. You drive. No problem. No problem, Chef. We go to Rampa. The driver's annoyed at being delayed, claiming the delay will ruin his perishable salad and he won't get paid. OK, Chef, we give you documents. But a trailer like this must be searched properly. No problem. Stop. Stop pretending no problem. Okay, Chef, we're going to take a look, yeah? So go to the ramp up. But in the driver's attitude as well, you know, when I, I try to direct him to the base, he's trying to tell me he's got to be in Birmingham by 8 o'clock in the morning. We all know what the traffic's like. Smugglers use any space they can to evade customs detection. Alex has seen plenty of dodgy vehicles and thinks this may be yet another. Oh, the screw's missing. I mean, it'd be a pretty obvious one, but stranger things have happened. As the excitement builds amongst the team, in the bay next door, another team have made a shocking find. Yeah, is it possible to get uh, immigration to the bay, please? We've got um, one uh, illegal at the moment. This team have just found a clandestine concealed underneath the vehicle. If you look from underneath the back of the lorry, you can see a leg sticking out. The shocked driver appears to know nothing about the illegal stowaway, who's still hiding under the truck. Well, I was just checking the floor of the trailer from the from back, and I was just shining, shining my torch along the underneath the trailer, and I could see a person's leg, a pair of jeans or something, underneath the trailer. It's just someone sitting on top of the axles. It's a bit shocking, really. Illegal immigrants risking their lives in this way is frighteningly common. Officers manage to gently persuade the stowaway out of his freezing hiding place. Boxy. Yep. What a beautiful pallet. Right. Fly pallet. Yes. Scared and cold, the man is surrounded and detained. Next, officers make sure he isn't going to pose a threat to them or himself. Right, so this is near Northampton. This is yeah, yeah, so, uh, uh, Bristol, no Bristol, London. London. No, 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 no pistol. Pistol. He's got London, no. okay. 960 okay. kilometres. A detention yeah. notice will be issued by the immigration authorities, and then Group 4 will come detain the person until yeah. the immigration authorities actually can come yeah. and process him in the morning, which isn't too far away now. It's a sombre end to a long night, especially for this man and the driver.
you know, just shine my torch and everyone just knows it's a clandestine, we know it's a, an immigrant. We've, we've, when I say I've seen quite a few, so the driver's more shocked than me. And when we showed him, he was, you'd see he was quite upset, really. The driver's truck appeared to be the perfect cover for this illegal immigrant, but his long journey will end in a night behind bars. Meanwhile, the angry behavior of the driver on the other rummage bay means his truck will be x-rayed. Ben's team are now hopeful they too will find something. I think that's the guy's attitude as well is not, not yes. putting us off. Also on the hunt for drugs, the RIB team are now set to search the suspicious yacht. Customs officers have the power to board and search any vessel, but sometimes this invasion of privacy can cause tensions. The cutter monitors the situation on board, whilst doing background checks on the yacht and its crew. It's like a nice enough couple, don't they? They've got their uh, life jackets on and uh, life raft, dinghy. Usually people are quite helpful and friendly and they're quite pleased to see us and um, chat to us. Hopefully. <laughs> the sailors may look happy enough, but on board they're venting their frustrations at being boarded. This is the second time this has happened to us. Yes. Is this recently, is it? Well, no. Some years ago, but right. it's so intrusive. It took absolutely <coughs> ages last time, and we had a stinking passage. Right. Arrived at three o'clock in the morning. Right. Some flipping customers with all else to do. That's it. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> at that time in the morning. Well, like I say, it should only take a couple of minutes. The rib team do their best to calm the sailors, while the cutter checks for previous offences. Thank you. We weren't too happy about us going on board. Uh, they'd had a bad experience with customers before, and uh, they were fine by the time we left. Obviously, you're boarding a yacht, and these people live on those yachts for days and days at a time, so they've got all their personal possessions and everything out there and below. You've got to be careful when you're going into somebody else's home like that. So uh, they were happy enough when we left. The search may have been an inconvenience, but officers must take action if they see something that fits the profile of a smuggler. But most customs work comes from intelligence leads. In Gatwick, the intelligence unit has identified two suspects returning from Trinidad, and the officers are waiting for them. The suspects have been ignoring each other for the whole flight. It's looking around. This is behaviour often associated with smugglers. Just behind the barrier. The guy in the car key, he was, he was looking around a hell of a lot when he came down here. Yeah, he was. Or when he was a bit down But uh, this is associated with all of their travel until now. Yeah, this is our two coming. Hello, yeah, sir. Hi. Where are you from today? Pardon? In from Bla In from Barbados? Port of Spain. Port of Spain. Okay, can yep. I have a quick word? Are you travelling with anybody at all? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> you come on over for both. Go on, let's just get it over and done with. Is, strip the bags down. Is this your luggage? Go for it. Knock yourselves out. Yeah, is this your luggage? Just knock yourself out. That's mine. Help yourself. And that one's yours, is it? Yep. Okay, did you pack all this luggage yourselves? Yes, I did. That's great. Has anybody given you anything to bring into the country? No. OK, and you understand some things are not allowed here, drugs wise, of course. Really? <laughs> OK. Like what? <laughs> all right, that's out. great. Cannabis and all the rest Seriously? of it. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> not allowed that here, no? No, that's right. OK, come on over. And the the bag line. swab on the man in beige gives a hit for cocaine. Check if there's any traces of uh, <laughs> test for cocaine and heroin. No, it's not worth it. If that's... Um, that's a true. Well, uh, of course, I'll see to rub him down. The man in black also gives a high score for cocaine. It looks like the intelligence may prove correct. Now, there's one final thing that we'd like to do. Which is? Uh, search a person. Sure, you can take my word for it, though. No? Well, unfortunately, much as we might like to, we've got to be 100% certain. In Dover, the salad truck with a suspicious floor is about to be x-rayed. Yeah, we're just doing lots of scanning. So obviously, a load like that we can't really get into without ruining it, really. Um, or certainly something, anyway. So, just to get the scan and hopefully they'll clear it or not. The delayed driver's behaviour is the other reason they decided to scan the lorry. The driver's attitude isn't doing himself any favours at the moment, still. So, and obviously, 
although we've done the outside and looked at the structure of the vehicle, it's always a handy to have a second opinion, which is what this kind of gives us. The team were initially convinced this was going to be a job, but it's looking like the team who found the illegal immigrant have had all the excitement for tonight. No, it's, 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 it's like water pressure, something like that. So it's, it's very, it's very live, but well, the rest of it is, I don't know. The scan quickly shows that the floor is clean and the cargo of salad can be on its way. Alex and Ben sent the driver away reasonably happy, advising him to allow more time in future. The officers then go back out to stop their next customer. Still to come, a drug suspect feels victimised. Pulled me in because of my appearance. It had nothing to do with your appearance. I'm afraid I think it was. All right, but anything you're being prejudiced. Coming up, a drug suspect feels victimised. Pulled me in because of my appearance. It had nothing to do with your appearance. I'm afraid I think it was. All right, but anything you're being prejudiced. Drug smuggling through airports is big business for organised gangs. Today, customs have a tip-off that passengers carrying cocaine will be arriving in Bristol from Amsterdam. We've already had a word with immigration. Once they've been pointed out, we've got two officers ready to do the arrest. With no idea what they look like, John's team are hoping to get a point out from immigration and will then stop and search the suspects. The lady has got an address in Holland and an address in the US, but we think they're both UK nationals. Basically, you can you can smuggle drugs in anything. Uh, we've had it in baby's milk powder, uh, in tins of fruit, in tins of vegetables, meat even. They just adapt and improve their techniques, and we've got to make sure that we keep up with that and find it and keep it off the streets. It turns out the female passenger is an American national, and the answers she gives to immigration's questions are already revealing lies. The, the woman with the orange jacket on, sat down behind immigration or in front of immigration. That's the woman. She's staying with him at yeah. this address, travelling alone. Superb. Um, I've got to go just in case he goes through. That's brilliant. The passengers have split up, but an immigration officer at Passport Control identifies the suspect and gives John and Erica a discreet nod. The tip-off was that the passengers are bringing in cocaine. The lies at Passport Control are suspicious, but John needs to find the evidence or they'll be free to go. Hello, sir. Customs. You're travelling on your own today? Who are you travelling with? Well, my girlfriend. She's still the other side. She's an American citizen, so she's being held up there. All oh, right, OK. And is this all your luggage? That's hers. That's mine. And this is mine. OK. So why have you picked your girlfriends up, then? Uh, being polite. <laughs> right, OK. You just want to come, come through with me, then? And does she live with you full time, or is she just here on vacation? Just here with you. Okay. Have you got a ticket for your flight? The man's admission that he's travelling with his girlfriend contradicts her story at immigration, and the route they've flown sounds like an attempt to avoid customs attention. And you've come in from Amsterdam. Were you anywhere before Amsterdam? Yep. Texas, uh, Frankfurt, and Chicago. So how long have you been out of the UK? Since Thursday. So, oh. Are you married? Yeah, I'm married. All oh, right. When did you get married? Friday. Well, did you ever use any drugs? No. Nah. No? What about your girlfriend? Mm -hmm. I don't in the past, but I decided to get my act together. Do you still smoke then, or not? No. Yeah. Well, you're completely I'm clean. Good. You must have a vice. The female passenger has been interviewed by immigration and can now be searched by customs. But from Dallas to Frankfurt, Germany. Right. And then Frankfurt, Germany. To Amsterdam, mm -hmm. and Amsterdam to to here. Bristol. Right. Their flight plans match up, but the woman is very nervous. I really have to pick. Is there some point? I mean, does somebody want to go with me to the bathroom? I just gotta pee. Is yeah. Going to watch me pee. I don't. I just gotta go. <laughs> because the woman is possibly carrying drugs, Erica must accompany her to the toilet. Okay but it turns out to be just nerves. And John's bag search has also turned up nothing. It was looking really good because the woman at immigration said that she's on her own. He came down, started fiddling with his mobile to text her, picked up her bag and brought her bag through while well, she was still at immigration. After, not obviously, he may not have known that she had said that she was on her own. 
finish the bikes. Yeah, I'll do some testing. The last thing to do is swab the bags for drugs. If this comes up negative, John will be forced to let the suspects go. Back in Gatwick, the officers are body searching the two targets whose bags gave high readings for cocaine. What did your friend do? Is he okay? He seems a bit jumpy. Yeah. <laughs> he's just a hyperactive person. Is he? Yeah. Weird. He, he's not hyperactive at the moment for a reason. He hasn't been using on the plane, has he, or something like that? No. If you want to, you want to wait here for your, your buddy, I should imagine he'll get searched as well. Seeing so I understand his, um, his base giving a reading for cocaine as well. Have anything to do with coke out there at all? I don't think, well, for a start, we don't want to be on this. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he found a trace. I told him, I said, the reason he found a trace in the laptop is because I was sitting there, do a bit, and play on my laptop. Yeah. What's, his, what's he saying? He's been out for a holiday. Been out there for a holiday. He's used um, coke and cannabis, uh, which is why the high traces of coke on, on the laptop now uh, get uh, there you go, he's been well turned out whilst he was over there and he knew that he was being stopped on the way back. <laughs> Do you fancy him for an internal tour? No, I don't think so. No? Right, okay. let's, let's get him on the way. Yeah. Right. The intelligence that they're involved with drugs was correct, but personal use abroad isn't a matter for UK customs and the search for smugglers will have to continue. There's a sense of anti-climax. Because, I mean, you're looking for the gear and it's not there. But, uh, you know, next time. <laughs> Successful drug seizures at sea are often triggered by foreign surveillance aircraft who alert British customs when a suspicious vessel is headed for UK waters. In February 2000, we became alerted to um, suspicious activity by the French Customs Service who had been patrolling the western fringes of the Bay of Biscay. They did some basic checks as they do in all vessels and found out that it had been registered from uh, Panama. They also noticed that there was a number of um, items on board which appeared to be barrels, which they thought was a little bit unusual. They, they got in quite close to it, and I think as a result of that, um, the vessel turned off its GPS, which the French thought a little bit unusual. They were suspicious of that. Uh, the vessel was heading towards the UK mainland. Immediately, the French alerted the British cutters. Um, we were very fortunate in that we had quite a number of cutters who were actually in South Coast ports at the time, and therefore they were immediately deployed uh, to the coordinates that the French were constantly giving for the vessel. It was very important to continue to track the vessel, and round the clock, this was during the day and uh, at night, uh, they sent up light aircraft to continue that monitoring. The suspects on board knew they were being watched from all sides. Cutters who were surveilling were able to observe the, the barrels being jettisoned by someone on that particular vessel into the English Channel. The cutter crew decided to strike. They don't know what they're going to find. It could be that there are firearms on board. And officers have met their death in doing this type of work before. Once on board, the crew were arrested immediately. Meanwhile, the RIP team searched for the evidence. Their swift action recovered all the barrels containing one of the biggest hauls of cannabis for years. And when all the barrels were recovered, it totaled 680 kilos of cannabis, which then had a street value in the region of about 3.5 to 4 million pounds. So it was a very significant seizure of cannabis. They were all eventually found guilty by jury trial, um, and they were sentenced to uh, nine, seven, and five years. Thanks to the cutters, three more drug smugglers were safely behind bars. Back in Bristol, John's waiting for the result of the last drug swab on the passengers from Amsterdam. The test result proves that the anonymous tip-off claiming they were carrying drugs was false. OK, what we'll do, we'll pack you back up. Yep. Quite happy, really. Yeah. He's very calm. 
I just don't understand why she would have told the immigration officer she's travelling on her own. Because they've got a problem with it. Have they? Yeah. She'd been over a long time. She's in a business class, but ah, right, I see. Said, which which would justify why they split. But he's completely clean. Shoes, bag, passport. But what began as a custom search has identified an immigration problem, and their contradictory accounts will help immigration with their inquiries. But she she said she was travelling on her own, right? Yeah, she's at the inception point. Yeah, that wraps it up nicely. Basically, you don't want she's not disclosed. Oh right, okay. I've just been to speak to immigration and there's a problem with her passport in that it looks like she's doing lots of trips in and around Europe, possibly to disguise the fact that she's been staying in the UK for longer than she perhaps should be. Uh, and because she's made untruthful statements to immigration, it looks highly likely that they're going to be sending her back to the United States. The couple are given the all clear by customs, but the female passenger will be detained, which won't please her new husband. Immigration are keeping her there for the time being. They want to have a chat with her. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do yeah. to help you with that. I mean, yeah. um, I mean the thing is, I'm not. I'm not. Because of my appearance. No, it wasn't that. No. No. I can assure you, it wasn't okay. anything to do with your appearance. Okay. All right. You can deny I mean, that. There, there are. Your wife has said things which are concerning immigration at the moment, and that's why they want to talk to her about it. That wasn't why you pulled us in, there, was it? I pulled you in separate to your you wife. Pulled, you pulled me in because of my appearance. It had nothing to do with your appearance. I'm afraid I think it was. All right, but anything you're being prejudiced. Um, okay. I think it sucks. The man's anger gets him 